The liver is a large, complex organ with numerous functions, which include metabolic and hematologic regulation and bile production. It is the largest organ of the abdomen, occupying a major portion of the right hypochondriac and epigastric regions, sometimes extending into the left hypochondriac and umbilical regions. The liver is bordered superiorly, laterally, and anteriorly by the right hemidiaphragm. The medial surface is bordered by the stomach, duodenum, and transverse colon. The inferior surface is bordered by the hepatic flexure of the colon, and the posterior surface is bordered by the right kidney. The liver is surrounded by a strong connective tissue capsule, glistens capsule, that gives shape and stability to the soft hepatic tissue. It is also entirely covered by peritoneum except for the gallbladder fossa, the surface opposed to the inferior vena cava, and the bare area, which is the liver surface between the superior and inferior coronary ligaments. The liver is attached to the diaphragm via the right and left triangular ligaments, which are extensions of the coronary ligaments. The liver can be divided into lobes according to surface anatomy or into segments according to vascular supply. The four lobes commonly used for reference based on surface anatomy are the left, right, caudate, and quadrate. The left lobe is the most anterior of the liver lobes, extending across the midline. The right lobe is the largest of the four lobes and is separated from the left lobe by the interlobar fissure. The smallest lobe is the caudate lobe, which is located on the inferior and posterior liver surface, sandwiched between the IVC and the ligamentum venosum. The ligamentum venosum is a fibrous remnant of the ductus venosum of the fetal circulation. The quadrate lobe is located on the anteroinferior surface of the left lobe between the gallbladder and the round ligament. The hilum of the liver the porta hepatis is located on the inferomedial border of the liver. It is the central location for vessels to enter and exit the liver. Within the liver, there are several main grooves or fissures that are useful in defining the lobes and boundaries of the hepatic segments. The fissure for the round ligament divides the left hepatic lobe into medial and lateral segments. The fissure for the ligamentum venosum separates the caudate lobe from the left lobe and the transverse fissure portal contains the horizontal portions of the right and left portal veins. The interlobar fissure, main lobar fissure, an imaginary line drawn through the gallbladder fossa and the middle hepatic vein to the IVC, divides the right from the left lobes of the liver. Current practice favors the division of the liver into eight segments, according to its vascular supply, which can aid in surgical resection. According to the French anatomist Couinard, 
the liver can be divided into segments based on the branching of the portal and hepatic veins. The three main hepatic veins divide the liver longitudinally into four sections. The middle hepatic vein divides the liver into right and left lobes. The right lobe is divided into anterior and posterior sections by the right hepatic vein. And the left lobe is divided into medial and lateral sections by the left hepatic vein. Each section is then subdivided transversely by the right and left portal veins, creating eight segments. Each segment can be considered functionally independent. Each has its own branch of that hepatic artery, portal vein, and bile duct, and is drained by a branch of that hepatic veins. The liver is unusual in that it has a dual blood supply receiving arterial blood, 20% 25%, from the common hepatic artery and nutrient-rich venous blood, 75% 80%, from the portal vein. The common hepatic artery usually arises as one of three branches off the celiac trunk, coursing to the right to enter the lesser omentum anterior to the portal vein. It branches into the proper hepatic and gastroduodenal arteries just above the duodenum, while within or just before entering the porta hepatis, the proper hepatic artery divides into right and left hepatic arteries, which continue to branch and supply the lobes of the liver. The right hepatic artery is larger than the left and supplies the majority of the right lobe of the liver. It passes posterior to the uncinic process of the pancreas and runs along the posterior wall of the common bile duct into the right hepatic lobe. The left hepatic artery approaches the liver in the lesser omentum and branches to supply the caudate, quadrate, and medial and lateral segments of the left lobe of the liver. The venous drainage of the liver occurs via the small interlobar and intersegmental hepatic vessels that merge into the three major hepatic veins, emptying directly into the IVC, just below the diaphragm. The right hepatic vein, the largest, lies between the right anterior and posterior hepatic segments. Drain segments 5, 6, and 7. and enters the IVC at the right lateral aspect. The middle hepatic vein lies in the interlobar fissure, drain segments 4, 5, and 8, and then enters the IVC at the anterior or right anterior surface. The smallest hepatic vein, the left hepatic vein, courses between the medial and lateral segments of the left lobe, drain segments Roma 2 and Drain 3, then enters the left anterior surface of the IVC. Segment 1 drains directly into the IVC through smaller hepatic veins. Frequently, the middle and left hepatic veins converge to form a common trunk before emptying into the IVC just below the diaphragm. The IVC lies in a groove along the posterior wall of the liver and ascends into the thoracic cavity through the caval hiatus of the diaphragm and enters the right atrium of the heart.
the liver receives nutrient-rich blood from the gastrointestinal tract via the portal hepatic system. The major vessel of this system is the portal vein, which is formed in the retroperitoneum by the union of the superior mesenteric and splenic veins, posterior to the neck of the pancreas at the portal splenic confluence. It passes obliquely to the right, posterior to the hepatic artery within the lesser omentum, and enters the liver at the porta hepatis. At the porta hepatis, the portal vein branches into right and left main portal veins. that then follow the course of the right and left hepatic arteries. The right main portal vein first sends branches to the caudate lobe, segment 1, and then divides into anterior and posterior branches that subdivide into superior and inferior branches to supply the right lobe of the liver. Segments 5, 6, 7, and 8. The left main portal vein initially courses to the left, then turns medially toward the ligamentum tears. It branches to supply the lateral segments, segments 2 and 3 of the left lobe, and the superior and inferior sections of segment Raman 4. The biliary system is composed of the gallbladder and bile ducts, both intrahepatic and extrahepatic, which serve to drain the liver of bile and store it. The hollow, pear shaped gallbladder is located in the gallbladder fossa on the anteroinferior inferior portion of the right lobe of the liver, closely associated with the interlobar fissure. It functions as the reservoir for storing and concentrating bile before it is transported to the duodenum. The gallbladder can be divided into a fundus, body, and neck. The fundus is the rounded distal portion of the gallbladder sac that is frequently in contact with the anterior abdominal wall, the widest portion, the body gently tapers superiorly into the neck. The narrow neck lies to the right of the porta hepatis and continues as the cystic duct. The neck contains circular muscles that create spiral folds within the mucosa called the spiral valves of Heister. These valves are particularly prominent at the bend, formed by the neck and cystic duct a common area for gallbladder impaction during acute or chronic cholecystitis. The gallbladder has a muscular wall that contracts when stimulated by the hormone cholecystokinin forcing bile through the extrahepatic biliary system into the duodenum. Cholecystokinin is secreted by cells in the duodenum as a response to ingestion of fat and protein into the stomach or duodenum. Bile is an alkaline fluid formed within the liver and stored in the gallbladder to be discharged into the duodenum for assistance in the digestion and absorption of fats and elimination of cholesterol and bilirubin from the body. It is collected for transport to the gallbladder by the intrahepatic bile ducts. The intrahepatic bile ducts run beside the hepatic arteries and portal veins throughout the liver parenchyma. The intrahepatic ducts merge into successively larger ducts as they follow a course from the periphery to the central portion of the liver, eventually forming the right and left hepatic ducts. 
The right and left hepatic ducts unite at the porta hepatis to form the proximal portion of the common hepatic duct, CHD, which marks the beginning of the extrahepatic biliary system. The CHD is located anterior to the portal vein and lateral to the hepatic artery in its caudal descent from the porta hepatis. As the CHD descends in the free border of the lesser omentum, it is joined from the right by the cystic duct to form the common bile duct, CBD. The CBD continues a caudal descent along with the hepatic artery and portal vein within the hepatoduonal ligament. It curves slightly to the right, away from the portal vein, then courses posterior and medial to the first part of the duodenum behind the head of the pancreas. The CBD follows a groove on the posterior surface of the pancreatic head, then pierces the medial wall of the second part of the duodenum along with the main pancreatic duct duct of Wurzung, through the ampulla of Vader. The ends of both ducts are surrounded by the circular muscle fibers of the sphincter of Adi.